We all eat. And the dietary decisions that we make on a daily basis contributes to our overall health. If you eat healthy, you will be healthier. This isn't some groundbreaking revolutionary idea. It makes perfect sense. So in our lab, we study the molecular basis of how diet affects disease. The disease that my research focuses on is colon cancer. Colon cancer is the third most prevalent cancer in the United States. Traditionally, this was considered a disease of the elderly. Unfortunately, the incidence of colon cancer in patients under the age of 50 is rapidly rising. The type of colon cancer I study is driven by a mutation that makes it resistant to standard therapies. However, the bioactive product that I study is actually able to slow down and stop the growth of these tumors. So what is that bioactive? Well, it's the component of fish oil. And I'm sure you've all heard of fish oil. You can go to the grocery store right now and see many different supplements and even foods that either naturally contain or enriched with the bioactive product of fish oil known as omega-3s. In fact, Americans spend approximately $1 billion, with a B, $1 billion on these types of products a year. So what happens when you eat fish oil? It's going to get absorbed in your small intestine. Then these omega-3s are going to be passed through your circulation, where the cells of your body get a chance to uptake those bioactive products, where they will physically incorporate them into your cell's membrane. So that saying, you are what you eat, although an exaggeration for most dietary components, in regards to fish oil is actually true, because those omega-3s that were once part of the fish membrane are now physically part of your membrane. So what our research has uncovered is that these undruggable, resistant tumors actually have a vulnerability. And that's because they modify the structure of their plasma membrane. And you may be able to see where I'm going with this, because when you eat dietary fish oil, it gets physically incorporated into your membrane. And we're showing that it's actually able to break up this structure of the membrane that these cancer need. So this is very important for fish oil. But even more importantly, we've discovered that there's other products in your diet that can similarly modify the structure of your membrane. And this leads to a field known as plasma membrane lipid therapy. And this is impactful. This is the type of research that's going on here at Texas A&M, where we're making formerly known resistant tumors resistant no more. Thank you.